We're continuing our talk on custom shapes. Here's a, an alternative method for creating custom shapes that have a little bit more personality. To start off with, we've got the uh, pen tool, which is really, really made to make custom shapes. Yes, you can do this. You could draw a shape and you can hover over it and you can go like this and try to make these changes, but this is this, this technique yields some results. A lot could be done through it, but you really can't be precise. There's just no way to be precise with that. So if you want to be precise, you've got the pen tool. Now the pen tool is, is a conversation and a half, but it's not that incredible of a conversation. Let's be real basic about it. If you click, and by the way, notice I can't add a fill. I can only work with strokes with the pen tool. I'll stick with black for now. But if I click, I can, I can just click around, and every time I click, I'll see a new line. I'll create an E for Eugene. What a great name, right? Okay, there we go. See that little circle? That means I can close it, and there you go. I got myself a custom shape. Well, if I want to modify this shape, I can use the white arrow to drag these little points around, which is nice. Another thing that I can do if I want to continue to modify things is I can work my way back over here to the uh, black arrow. Make sure this is selected, and underneath the pen tool, we've got the add and subtract and convert anchor point tools. Add adds points. Subtract, subtracts points, and convert, converts points. So if I click, I can convert this to a curve. Make sure you go the right way. Uh, otherwise, you get that pretzel look. But I could work my way around here and convert every single one of these curves, or these corners in the curves. And I'm working with handles now, which is what we're going to talk about next. Press Control Z right there. I didn't have that handle going the right direction. Again, you got to pay attention to avoid that pretzel look. But there you have it. And all these points can be controlled. And the handles themselves can be pulled around like that. And if I didn't want to handle, I could use the subtract tool to delete the anchor point. There you have it. I'm zooming in and out by pressing control spacebar and control alt spacebar. Just so you know. Control plus and control minus work as well. And as well as the zoom tool and the hand tool right here. Alright, so this is how you that's that's how you can create custom shapes. So if you were creating a character, for example, and you, you wanted curves, you could use the pen tool and what you'd have to do and is kind of draw a handle, point the direction you want the, the line to go and I'm going to create a little kind of a melon head here. Again, this is not going to be perfect. It's not really the point. But this creates a nice oblong shape. Make sure you close. So I'm coming back here where I started and clicking again because I actually didn't close that shape, last shape I drew. If you ever don't close a shape, you can just go back with the pen tool and click where you left off and continue on. But how to get a fill in here would be a good question. Well, if you click on the fill tool, you should be able to and keep the object selected. You can just click and add a fill. If you want to modify the fill to something else, you could, but green's fine for me. If I wanted some, and notice that this is a drawing object. The pen tool creates uh, drawing objects. Back to the pen tool. So make sure that uh, object drawing is turned on. All right, so I'm going to create a little eyeball, and this eyeball, again, is going to be a custom shape, whatever shape I want. And I'd have to use a fill to modify it. So here we go, back to the fill. 
say I wanted a black fill. Well, there you have it. If I didn't want that stroke anymore, I could simply turn it off by clicking the no stroke button. So say that's the shape that I wanted. I'm going to show you something here. I'm going to press control C and control V. That's a copy and paste. And if I wanted this eye to be a, a direct mirror of the other eye, I could just go to transform and flip horizontal. So I right clicked and I went to transform and click horizontal. There's a lot of stuff in there for today. That's all I'm going to mention. And if I wanted to have a little mouth on this crazy looking guy, right? Just a wild looking mouth. Cause that's sort of the point is we're making something really custom. There we go. We've got ourselves a, grumpy looking little smiley face guy. I'm pressing control Z right here because that this edge wasn't turning out right for me. I'm going to click right left off and cl close this up again. There we go. I'm going to zoom in. I don't like the way this is looking right here and move this handle like that. So that looks like a nice little curve of a mouth. And if I wanted to add a fill on here I could click over here and uh, maybe I just add a little, little red fill right there. Why not? You know, all these objects can be arranged very easily. Just right click, and go to arrange, or press uh, control and the up key, or control and the down key to go up and down, or control shift or up or down to go all the way to the top or all the way to the bottom. It's a fun way to work. There you have it. These are some custom shapes. You got to know how to use the pen tool, but the pen tool will give you more control than just hovering over the edge of a shape like this and making these sorts of changes. I'm not saying that these are, are fruitless. They're not fruitless, but they don't always work great. And by the way, keep in mind that if uh, these, these have to be drawing objects, if they are uh, shapes, in fact, let me convert this to a shape. If I go to break apart here, you know, they they end up on the bit. You can't arrange these. They have this, uh, when you select them, you can tell they're selected. It kind of selects all the inside. They're really easy to recognize. And by the way, I can't convert this back into a drawing object either. I, the best I can do with it is convert it to a symbol or I can convert it to a group but it's no longer a drawing object. But I will tell you that if I select it with the, uh, the black arrow here, um, I can't, I can still find the anchor points. The real difference with the drawing object is that you can arrange things, but it doesn't, doesn't, doesn't mean that this doesn't have anchor points anymore. So I'm pressing control Z, getting ourselves back to normal. There we go. That's back where I was. And you get the idea of how we can work with the pen tool to create certain custom shapes.